I'm Barbara from No Bad Foods. It's fig season down here in North Carolina, and today what we're gonna do is do a nice, easy, quick dish that just turns some beautiful, fresh figs into a nice compote or an accompaniment to chicken, pork, or conversely, you can put it on top of ice cream or vanilla yogurt. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is put the oven on 425. So what I'm doing is, in order to prep the figs, just take fresh figs, about two pounds of them, give or take, as many as you want, and just take the stems off of them. You can see what I'm doing here. Just watch your fingers. There are various sizes here, but that doesn't matter. Just keep going. And then what you're going to do is split them in half. And they are beautiful. So here we go. Aren't those figs gorgeous? Now we're gonna drizzle th about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar on top of that some honey, and a little bit of vanilla. So here we go. And then edit that out. And drizzle means just that. You can be a little sloppy if you need to be. go with the honey. About two tablespoons, give or take. Honey is such a great sweetener. You don't need too much because the figs are sweet enough. And I'm just going to do it this way. You can just do a little, little bit hit or miss how you want to do this, depending on how fast the honey comes out of your container. There we go. Beautiful. And we're gonna do a little bit of vanilla. I don't use vanilla extract, I use vanilla paste. Your choice, you can do what you want. Get over there. There we go. Same thing, about a teaspoon of this, and this is thick, so it's also pretty intense with the flavor. So you don't wanna to use too much. Look at that. Isn't that great? Get the very last bit of that out of there. There we go. All right. And then the last, the last thing you do before it goes in the oven is you just put rosemary sprigs in between. And all this does is gives it a little bit more of a developed complex flavor, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to worry about them, you're not gonna eat them. They're just there for the flavor. All right, and we're heading to the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting for the figs to roast in the oven, we only have a few more minutes to go, I'm getting ready for the next step, is to cube two tablespoons of cold butter. And just put it in a little bit of a custard dish, just keep it off to the side. When the figs come out from the first round after 10 minutes of being roasted, you're gonna take them out of the oven. You're going to flip them, turn them over a little bit, you know, use a spatula, and then you're just gonna sprinkle this cube butter all over the pan and put it back in the oven. And what the butter is going to do is gonna blend beautifully with the balsamic vinegar and the honey, making a nice thick syrup. And then the next step while we're waiting for the figs to get done is to zest a lemon. The lemon zest is going to go on the figs when they're all done, when they're finished with their second round of roasting. After they've been flipped, the butter's been applied. You put them on the top of the stove, let them cool off and sprinkle with the zest of a full lemon. When you're zesting, just remember, you wanna get just the yellow. You don't wanna go into the white pith. The, the yellow, the yellow rind is really what you want. If you go into the white, it's going to be bitter. Okay, first round, it's done. The first 10 minutes, they're roasted. I'm gonna turn them and flip them a little bit just so we can get to the other side. Be careful, this pan is hot. When you do this, just watch your fingers. You don't have to be perfect if you just get the bulk of them. I'm gonna turn them over. Don't worry about that rosemary. It'll live, it'll survive. The little 
The little figs, I'm not so worried about. Try to get as many of the bigger figs over 10. You wanna make sure that they get equal time in this roasting pan. Again, no one's grading you on this, so don't think you have to be perfect. At the end of the day, it's gonna turn into a beautiful fig compote that you'll be able to use, as I said, in many different ways. We're gonna use this our fig compote on top of roast chicken tonight. Okay, for the next final round, that butter that we cubed a few minutes ago, it just gets sprinkled on top. And what this is gonna do is melt into the glaze. It's gonna turn a little thick and syrupy. And that's just what we want it to do. It goes back in the oven for five minutes. So we'll see you in a second. So this is how it looks after the final roasting with the butter. We let it sit for 10 minutes so it could, first of all, cool off to be handled and then just see the syrup nice and thick coating this. So we're gonna get rid of the, <laughs> I can see I'm gonna scrape that off. We're gonna get rid of the rosemary uh, sprigs, get them out of here. I guess I'm gonna have to scrape this one off too. And then what we're gonna do is I'll sprinkle the lemon zest on it, mix it up, and I'm gonna put it in a bowl. This will keep in the refrigerator for about five days. Uh, if you're going to use it the same day, I would prefer to leave it out. Um, as long as Thanks for visiting. If you'd like the recipe, please go to my website, novadfoods.com. Have a great day.